Hey there, this is Adrian Brown, your homeschool mom of eight, and I'm coming to you today with a video that shows how I homeschool with multiple grades and with babies around. It, is, it isn't easy, but it can be done. Watch this video. Okay, make a whole pizza, cut it in half. Write down the fractional parts. What, is a, what does it look like? One over, you have plus, how many do you need? equals, which equals is the same as, yeah, one, just one, just one, right? Because you got one whole pizza. Okay, so now you got to do, <laughs> keep it, okay, wait, so um, now erase this one, very good, yes, you only need two halves, now I want you to write, write another pizza, cut it into four slices. What fraction represents one fourth? How do you write one fourth? One fourth. How many? You just got a little one against your space. One over. How many of those do you need to, to match the pizza, the slices that you cut in? Four. Okay, so that equals. Shh. Four over four, right? Which equals is the same as saying how many pies? We need an equal sign. How many pies do you get all together? One. Yes, yeah, so you keep forgetting that one step. That's a one? <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. So, do you, so read it to me. One, one over four. No, just say one fourth. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Equals four, four over four. Which equals? equals one. Because it's how many pizzas do we have? We have how many pizzas? Whole one. pizza. That's right. How many slices did we cut it into? Four. But we still only have one pizza, right? Very good. So we raise it. Why put the four here? Four Look, slices? Yeah, four slices. But there's one pizza. Okay, erase. Erase it. Now you have to put three eighths on three of the pieces. Right, three eighths. Three over eight, gotcha. Or put three in. Oh. You need three. You have to have three of them. So the question is, which dog ate the most? The little dog. The one who ate three eighths. That's not the little dog. I don't know which one it is. It says the little dog ate one eighth of the package and the big dog ate three eighths of the three eighths of the package. And it says who ate the most? The big dog. Because he ate three of them. Ate three. I've got three bites of eight. Okay, you ready? So I have put a chocolate muffin recipe calls for one third stick of butter. You already yeah. a blue a blue muffin recipe calls for one fourth stick. Of butter. So you can make a stick of butter if you want. I mean, I want to do it. I do that big. Okay. Now the first one you cut into three slices. This was even. <laughs> so it as even as you can get. Now the next one you cut it into four slices, four chunks of butter, into four pieces. Four slices. Four. Four slices. So it said that the first one you need yeah. three one third stick of butter. So put one third. Actually, you need to put it inside the butter. Actually, you need to put one third. Right then one fourth. That's what one fourth. This this represents one fourth that piece. So the question is, which one? Which one use more butter? Yeah, because the, actually it's hard to see this because the way you wrote it, but this is a third of a piece right here, right? That's a third. Actually, you don't have to put one third, you put you can just color it, really. And this is one fourth. Because maybe you can see it better if you just color it. So which piece is bigger? Yeah, this one. The one third, yeah. They, so the, the, um, the muffins that go from one third use more butter. 